up, down, all around, up, down, and all around. Yeah, you got it. Hmm. Getting warm. Now we're ready. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. We are about faith. We are about faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1. We are about faith. We are about faith. Hebrews 11 Verse 1, we are about faith, we are about faith, Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Hey Sprouts and Rockets, today is a very exciting day. Do you know why? Because it's Sunday! Wait, that's not it. It's actually a very special Sunday at Nations Church. It is called Vision Sunday. On Vision Sunday, we all come together as one church and hear about the amazing plans God has for us and our church. This Vision Sunday, Pastor Ken is talking about following God here and now. Can everyone say here? Can everyone say now? Do you know that vision is for you too, Sprouts and Rockets? We need to follow God right here, right now. Everyone say here and now. Sometimes, for whatever reason, we choose not to do what God asks of us here and now. Maybe we're scared. Maybe we just want to wait until we grow up. Or maybe we don't want to do it at all. Well, Sprouts and Rockets, there is a story in the Bible about a guy who God asked to do something. And guess what? He chose to run away instead. Do you think that was a good idea? Let's have a look at his story. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Oh, he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! 
The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish, and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. The people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh and tell all the people what he said. But Jonah thought his idea was better. What happened when he chose his own way? That's right, there was a big storm. And then he ended up in a whale's belly. What do you think would have been a better choice? That's right, to do what God asked here and now. Sprouts and Rockets, you're not too young to live a big life with God. One thing God asks all those who believe in him to do is share Jesus with everyone to tell them how much he loves them and that he wants to be their best friend. It tells us to do that in the book of Matthew. When do you think he wants you to do that, to tell your friends and family about Jesus? Do you think later, when you grow up, maybe next month? No, he wants you to do it here and now. Sprouts and Rockets, don't be like Jonah and try and run away from what God asks us. Choose today to share the love of Jesus here and now. And I promise as you choose to be brave and do what he asks, God will go with you too. Let me pray for you that you would live every day following God here and that's right now. Why don't you close your eyes, bow your heads and I'll pray. Father God, I thank you for every Sprout and Rockets kid listening to this message. God, we pray that they would have the courage and the faithfulness to do what you ask of them here and now. God, I pray that as they share the love of Jesus with their friends, with their family, with uh, the person that they meet at the shops, God, that you would be with them, that you would empower them and that you would see miraculous things take place. I thank you that our Sprouts and Rockets are not too young to live a big life with you. And so we pray this all in your heavenly name and everyone who believed said, Amen. Amen.